I'm so excited. My sister Patty's moved to Dallas. Yeah, she'll be in Texas now. Patty lived in Cleveland, Ohio for about 60, 65 years, yeah. And uh, she decided that she was gonna move to Texas because that's really where most of her kids live. So they packed up all of their things, they shipped them down to Dallas, and then they got on a plane, and, and she landed in Dallas. It was hot the day she landed, but she didn't say anything, you know? She's living in Dallas, and we're talking on the phone every day, and one day she calls me and she goes, you're not gonna believe this, she said. The Republican convention, oh, did I tell you she's a big time Republican? The Republican convention was gonna be in Dallas or Cleveland, and they decided on Cleveland. Can you believe it? But you know what? That didn't bother her much. No. It wasn't until LeBron James made the decision that he was gonna leave the Miami Heat and move back to Cleveland. She got a little bit upset then because Patty loves the Cavaliers. So, two big things happen, right? She's taken her whole life that she lived in Cleveland, she's moved it to Dallas. And then the Republican convention and LeBron James, I mean, things that she loves so much, now they're in Cleveland, right? I said, Patty, are you upset? She said, no. No. Wasn't upset about the convention, wasn't upset about LeBron. When I stepped off that airplane and felt that 104 degree temperature, you know what, that upset me. How do you live in Texas? We love our temperature here. It's good for the skin. Patty didn't get upset. Her mindset was, I'm moving and I'm moving forward. I'm not looking back. How many times do we make decisions and then something happens where we think, wow, did I mess up? Oh, me? Was it better where I was instead of where I'm going? We've got to really focus on our future right now. We've got to keep our mind on the goal. And the goal is to keep growing. So Patty's here. She's not upset. She figured she could sit in her air-conditioned house. She can turn on that TV and she can watch LeBron shoot for the pads. Thanks, everybody. I'm Kara McCullough. Another lesson from the road. With songs they have sung for a thousand